Let's uh, take a closer look on what's happening across the African continent. Zambia held its general elections this week in a tight presidential contest between top contenders President Edgar Lungu and main rival Haikande Hichilema. The elections were held amidst internet shutdown across parts of the country. Zambians voted up until the early hours of Friday morning after long delays and snaking queues at some polling stations. Vote counting is well underway and results are expected to be released in the next couple of hours. For more on how the elections went and what the tensions on the ground are, we're joined by Zambian journalist Arthur Sikopo. Arthur, very good morning to you. Thank you so much uh, for joining us here on Newsroom Africa. Tensions have been uh, brewing as uh, Zambians head to the polls, overshadowed by COVID-19. Talk to us about uh, what we're seeing so far as the results trickle in. Thank you so much, and uh, um, great to be here. Uh, well, um, as you have rightly put it, uh, Zambia went to the polls uh, uh, the other day, uh, that is on 12th, uh, 12th August, uh, just to vote, uh, that is in the general election. So we have got uh, 16 uh, presidential candidates uh, contesting uh, in this particular race, but of course, uh, uh, two men um, uh, leading, or two are uh, the leading ones uh, in this particular race, that is uh, the incumbent, Edgar Chagualungu, and of course, uh, uh, leading opposition, Haka Indeh of the United Party for National Development. Well, this election is quite unique because uh, it is being held under um, 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 a crisis, uh, which, I may, which I, may, I may put like that, uh, that is uh, COVID-19. Mm -hmm. uh, campaigns have been going on uh, uh, quite well. Of course, um, we had some few incidences, but uh, um, the campaigns uh, went uh, well. And um, uh, we went into voting and, of course, um, uh, accounting of uh, ballots have continued uh, even up to uh, now. So far, we have got uh, some constituencies that have been announced. There are 15 of those uh, that have been announced. So uh, the, the counting call continues, and of course, uh, the verifying of the votes and the tallying of the votes uh, continues uh, um, across the country. As the counting and the tallying continues, we know that uh, it hasn't been an easy, smooth process. There has been concerns uh, with uh, you know, a global internet monitor saying that WhatsApp was restricted in Zambia. Let's uh, talk to us more about that. I can tell you that even right now, um, WhatsApp is too restricted um, in the country. We are only able to access uh, WhatsApp uh, if uh, we are using uh, virtual private uh, networks, that is uh, VPNs. Uh, so, and VPN today, I can tell you that it is uh, one of those uh, common uh, uh, attempts in the country because uh, many people have, have sort of just, uh, just uh, gone to it, uh, just access their internet. So if, um, like this morning, I, I was, when, I was, um, when my VPN was offline, um, I couldn't uh, I, I get any messages uh, via WhatsApp. So everyone this time around is using a VPN, and for those that may not may, may not know about it, um, they are still in the dark. Uh, they are now have uh, this is I think the third day now that which uh, they will have no uh, WhatsApp um, um, or access to WhatsApp. Some of the people didn't have access to Facebook as well. Uh, some of them had challenges uh, to access just the mere um, uh, internet um, 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 uh, access to, to to their emails and uh, and, and all. So it is uh, uh, that challenge and that concern uh, that has uh, arisen uh, in the country as uh, we voted and, of course, uh, as we await the uh, results to be announced. Arthur, just days before the election, the Zambian government essentially assured voters that there would be no interruptions to Internet connections. But, uh, of course, uh, what you're saying proves that uh, that has not been um, followed through. What is the reason why this the government felt it was necessary to block uh, access to the internet and WhatsApp. Yes, we only got uh, rumors um, 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 days before, I think a week before elections, that uh, um, uh, the government was going to uh, shut down the internet completely. Um, but later on, we saw the government uh, through Information Permanent Secretary, who is uh, the acting uh, uh, government spokesperson, uh, refuting that claim to say that uh, internet will not be tempered with uh, um, uh, during and before, during and after the elections. But uh, what we saw, what, what we have seen is uh, somewhat uh, different. Um, we saw WhatsApp going down. Uh, in fact, before WhatsApp went down, uh, we saw a statement again coming from uh, from the, the same permanent secretary of uh, Ministry of Information, 
to say that uh, if uh, Zambians uh, continue, or if Zambians uh, um, uh, tend to, 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 to go into announcing results before they are announced uh, officially by the mandated body, the Electoral Commission of Zambia, um, a government will be forced to sort of uh, intervene. And uh, probably that intervening uh, could be uh, the, um, the downing of, uh, of what's up in the country. Because um, uh, people would share all those uh, videos about um, what is happening in certain areas and all. Uh, people would share videos of uh, unrest. People would share videos of uh, uh, videos and pictures uh, of, uh, of, um, of, um, of, um, of, of ballots uh, being transported and all. So probably that is maybe what um, caused maybe uh, what, what has caused, of course, uh, this internet downing. But of course, the, the government has, um, as, as, as of last evening, um, uh, we never had uh, any uh, 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 confirmation whether it is the government that did that. Uh, personally, I never had any confirmation whether it is the government that did that. that, did that. Mm -hmm. uh, but obviously, uh, they obviously come out and refute. And um, in, in that vein, we saw a non-government organization uh, going to court and. Um, um, uh, taking Zikta, Zikta, which is uh, uh, Zambia Information Communication Technology Authority, uh, to court so that they can uh, explain to Zambians or they can uh, uh, put it across to Zambians why the internet, uh, uh, most, most fairly on WhatsApp, has been, um, has, has been dropped. Arthur, you speak about um, how there's fears that people could be sharing videos of the unrest that is taking place in Zambia. And we know there have been um, violent outbreaks, especially as uh, uh, current uh, President Edgar Lungu has ordered the army to step up its presence in three provinces where he accused the opposition of turning the country's election into, into war after the, the, the killing of two prominent politicians. Yes, we saw President Lungu uh, bring in the military. Uh, first, it was just uh, generally throughout the country, but uh, later on we saw, uh, uh, and that was necessitated by uh, acts of violence that were happening as politically uh, throughout the country. Um, you'd get uh, some acts of violence in, uh, in northern province, in northwestern province, in uh, southern province. You'd get some, uh, some, some acts of violence in eastern province and um, um, other provinces. So that uh, made President Lungu to bring in the military. And of course, even when the military came in, uh, on the voting day, the actual day, we saw two people, as you have rightly put it, um, um, uh, being killed in northwestern province. And one of them uh, was uh, the chairperson of the governing patriotic front, uh, Jackson Kungo, who was killed uh, during um, uh, elections, uh, during a, a poll. And that, that was just in the afternoon uh, when he was uh, beaten, uh, when the, the time that the police came in to, to come and rescue him, he was already uh, badly uh, beaten, and uh, the time that she got to the hospital, he was uh, pronounced dead, and the, the other gentleman also was killed. Uh, so that, uh, that uh, made President Lungu to sort of uh, uh, um, a command for um, a reinforcement in uh, three provinces, that is western, uh, northwestern province where th those uh, death, deaths happened, and of course uh, in southern province. Uh, just to, to, to beef up uh, the security there. So as we speak, uh, security there um, has been beefed up. Of course, uh, even just uh, in, here in Lusaka, um, uh, we have seen uh, military uh, moving up and down um, uh, around the city and even other parts of the country. Uh, they are still uh, moving up and down um, um, uh, uh, just to ensure that uh, security is, um, is, um, is assured uh, to Zambians. Uh, mostly in Lusaka, where I found these military people uh, at polling stations, where we were voting from, and of course uh, where the uh, the vote counting was uh, was being was being undertaken, and uh, where um, the t the tallying and the, of course the totaling uh, was being done. So right about now, we are, we must be having the, the the military on the streets, and of course uh, they are helping the police in uh, just trying to to to, to keep peace and just uh, secure that um, that that. Uh, that, that harmony that uh, Zambians need. This election has been described as a nail-biting election um, with the, the contenders um, really um, going head to head. Observers on the other end have expressed some concern that uh, perhaps uh, President Lungu will use the violent incidents that took place in those uh, parts of the country to justify a clampdown and perhaps an invalidation of the outcome of elections. What is it looking like when it comes to how the two contenders are tallying up and the possibility of what could follow should President Lungu not make the cut? 
Yes, this election uh, um, has been described as a neo Sudan election. We see uh, President Lungu and uh, his uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, uh, closest rival, uh, Edgar um, uh, um, Hainde Jilema, who, has contested, who, who is contesting now for the 60th time. And of course, uh, Edgar Lungu is contesting for the third time uh, uh, this time around. Edgar Lungu has won twice, and uh, this is uh, his uh, third contest. And just like we saw um, in 2016, uh, so our last election was in 2016, and we saw Edgar Lungu beating um, Haga Indejilema of uh, the opposition with just about 100,000 votes. And uh, this is uh, something that, um, um, what, why many are saying that uh, this uh, election is quite a tight contest, because uh, the two seem to um, uh, uh, be beginning ground. Uh, most probably, uh, the, the, the opposition leader, Haga Indejilema, has seemed to, to, to gain ground um, um, uh, a little bit more. Uh, due, and, and when, when you talk to, to people that, um, on the streets, they'll tell you that uh, we just want to, 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 to try him because uh, we feel that uh, the economy is, uh, is biting. We feel that the, the economy is bad. We feel that the economy is not performing quite well because uh, uh, President Edgar Lungu has failed. So people would, would, would give you all those um, um, uh, concerns. And that is why it is becoming, it is being called, uh, you know, um, a, a very tight election uh, between the two. And uh, we, we're seeing, of course, uh, both of them uh, are claiming victory already uh, that they have won this particular election. If you talk of uh, the UPND, the UPND, even as of yesterday, when we were at uh, the National Results Center, they claimed victory, uh, telling the Electoral Commission of Zambia, which is supposed to, make, uh, to, uh, to, to announce the results, that uh, they have already won and uh, that the Electoral Commission of Zambia was just uh, sort of uh, standing in their time uh, for celebration, in, uh, standing in their time for, uh, for enjoyment. We saw... Um, uh, a senior member of the UPND telling the level of showing that, say that uh, you are just uh, um, uh, um, uh, 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 taking our time. We want to go out there in the, on, on the streets to go and enjoy it because we know that we have won this election. So, but also the party front also is insisting as well that it has won uh, this election and uh, they have uh, they have returned uh, Edgar Lungo as president of Zambia. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, that kind of uh, an election, and we only hope that um, it ends well uh, because. Um, both camps um, seem not to be um, uh, uh, um, 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 accepting that uh, the other camp can, uh, can, can beat them. Yeah, very well. Thank you so much for your time um, describing and painting the picture on the streets of Zambia. Zambian journalist Arthur Sikopo, as of course uh, he speaks of a nail-biting election taking place in Zambia where the results are set to be announced uh, within the next few hours.